County is mourning the loss of an EMT who was killed while working a crash on the side of the highway over the weekend. Thanks for joining me here on the News at 6. I'm Dave Elliott. Right now, first responders are begging drivers to move over for stopped emergency vehicles. Mary Katie Pipkins is the EMT who died Saturday night in Mobile, Alabama. She worked for ASAP EMS. The company says Pipkins Ambulance was returning to George County from a patient transport in Mobile when the crew stopped on the side of Highway 98 to assist a fatal crash. While on the scene, Mobile police say another car veered off the road, crashed into the first responders, killing Pipkins. The driver of that car, Michael Thomas, was arrested, being charged now with manslaughter and felony DUI. The Mississippi Highway Patrol says Pipkin's tragic death could have been avoided if that driver was simply paying attention. Noah Noble met with state troopers today who are emphasizing the state's move over law. Noah joins us live right now to tell us more about that. Noah. Well, Dave, unfortunately, a wreck turning into another wreck is something that state troopers see all too often, and they say it's mainly because of distracted driving. Now, most states, including ours, have laws that require drivers to move over when an emergency vehicle is stopped on the side of the roadway. It's known as the move over law, and more than just being the law, moving over could save a life. This is one of the dangerous aspects of the job, standing on the side of the road with a vehicle doing 65 plus miles an hour coming by you. Do people pay attention to that sign that's behind us there, move over or reduce speed to stop emergency vehicles? Do people pay attention to the speed limit sign? Not all, right? Mississippi state law requires drivers to move over for any stopped emergency vehicle when on the side of a highway. And it extends beyond just law enforcement. According to the law, it also includes utility vehicles, tow trucks, or any other vehicle with strobes flashing, even mail trucks. And if you can't move over, slow down. Hey, here comes one right now, hey, the white truck. Both lanes open, yeah. but he moved over. But instead of him looking where he's going, he's looking over here at us. Over the weekend, this MHP cruiser was rear-ended on the side of a highway near Jackson, and the trooper was sent to the hospital. Corporal Cal Robertson says looking at this photo is a sobering reminder. It makes us all nervous because our safety is dependent on the driver's attentiveness. What are they doing in the vehicle when they come by you? If they're not paying attention, they're too busy looking at the phone, they have distractions going on, that could be very dangerous for us. If somebody gets hit by a vehicle doing 65 or 70, their chances of survival are slim to none. And you've seen that? I have seen that several times. Now, here in Mississippi, if you don't move over or slow down, you could be paying a fine up to $1,000. And by the way, that trooper who was driving that vehicle that was rear-ended, well, Corporal Kyle Robertson said that he was released from the hospital and he should make a full recovery. Live in Harrison County, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.